Yes, see. I didn't start playing this yesterday. Achievements that I already have. Maybe we should list all the achievements that I have. <laughs> Thousand and one provinces. A decent reserve. Where's the decent reserve? There, yeah, decent reserve. I wonder how many provinces I have right now. 881. So we'll definitely reach a thousand by the end of the game. There's like no question in my mind that we'll reach a thousand. It's only 120 left. Well, we're recording more than 120 a year. I'm not sorry, a year. We're recording a plenty. <laughs> and well, well, well. Oh no. No. The Regency Council. It has become true. Oh god, no. No, the humiliation. God, there's revolts. Pinsk, 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 pinsk. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, where's this guy? It's two for six, but I think if we agree to this thing, we would lose. And we lose the. Uh, well, we wouldn't lose the modifier for the revolution, which is turn government. The nightmare begins. Uh, it just makes it a bit of a scram. It's not really a nightmare, it just makes a bit of a scram to get to the World Conquest, but I think we can still do it. We still have like 30 years post. And what about the Dutch Republic? What do you mean, what about the Dutch Republic? Oh, holy crap, it's already one o'clock. I should probably end the stream at some point. At the end of the episode. What a downer to end the day on, though. Tomorrow I'll be back with some more, but, you know, tomorrow morning or afternoon, I'll be doing the multiplayer. And then later during the day, I'll return to this game. As the Dutch Republic is the best government for me, yes. <laughs> but what about it? Just because it's the best government for him doesn't mean it's the best thing in the game. I would still go revolutionary, even if it was the Dutch. That was a big fat zero right there. Maybe we should kill some of these. Goodbye. Realized that the war was so big. What did he declare on everybody? Oh, he declared on a few people. He'll be absolutely fine and dandy. Austrian conquest of Calais. Why would you go for a conquest of Calais? There's no reason for you to conquest Calais. Do not thank me for answering. I think it's the natural way of the stream. 
people come in and realize it's friendly, they stay and follow. That's how it usually works. But this is not my usual stream time. I am uh, an hour after the general cutoff time of the stream. Which I should probably keep. Because as much as I love to attract new people, I don't want to attract people that just can't make the regular times anyways. Still, even even with that setback, I think I mean, we only have that we don't have that much to eat. Japan is one war. There's some outlying little guys still to pick off. Congo, Brittany, they'll all be gone in this war. Aragon will be gone in this war. We'll have most of Africa cleaned out by then. Because let's face it, we're just going to feed all of this to Castile. There's no reason not to. Thank you for stalking. <laughs> Thank you, D1R7. Trusted by the rest of the population. <laughs> uh, I don't really care about how it is in the real world, but in game, the Dutch Republic is definitely the strongest. You realize how many wars there have been classified as world wars? I mean, there's two called the world wars, but because of you know, they're so vaguely defined that historians who try to define them have to come to the inevitable conclusion that the First and Second World Wars were more like the, what is it, the 13th and 14th World War or something like that. Because there are a whole bunch of wars. The American freaking Independence War was a world war. Because most of the fighting was actually between, you know, France, Castile, and England. And that fighting took place all over the frick freaking world. That was nowhere nearly as devastating a war, but still. From scale, it was about the same thing. It involved most of the world. It was fought on essentially every single continent. Mm -mm -mm. As soon as we have all of these scores, we can peace out Aragon. <laughs> and we'll take a bit of war exhaustion. Maybe because, well, piecing out Congo and Brittany will be very slow. I need to be the only tag. What does that mean? It, I mean, it says that I only need to be the only independent nation. Oh, great. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Wait, there's another 30 stack. Hiding among the green. What do you mean? How do you look at this? Because I never develop. The only times I ever develop is if I have an excess of points and almost never have an excess of points so I would I generally choose to continue as money stream over cheaper development which is not a monarch point saver like if I would be planning on developing sure 
But the only thing I'm developing is manpower anyways. Because I never have enough Diplo or Admin points to develop anything. Let's not forget about this war. It's a fun little war. A nice little war. Okay, now we... Actually, we haven't sieged everything yet. Doesn't matter. Call to Castillo. You have to be the only nation. You have to be the only overlord, essentially. You have, the only, you have to be the only independent nation in the world. In order for you to have the World Conquest achievement. Otherwise, World Conquest would be impossible for nations right? like Ryuku. Because they will do it through protectorates and other stuff like that. Gifts us some land. Split up, split it up. Maybe I'll actually annex this out then. If we have some peace, which we will have. Inevitably, we'll have to do peace. Hmm. Smelly, smelly peace. Hmm. Cool. Hundred percent on this guy. Nom 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 nom. That's good. Money. That's it. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, poor Castillo. We may have overfed him. Actually, we didn't overfeed him. He's still below a hundred. But he somehow managed to have 40 freaking... How? How do you have 40? 16 from separatism. Oh, God. Damn it, Castile. How do these nations go bankrupt? How does a nation like this go bankrupt? He doesn't even have an ar need an army. Like, he literally just could sit around and do nothing. don't get it I just, I just don't yeah that's why his entire freaking country has massive massive unrest he went bankrupt and now you know his stability dropped to sit three it's terrible autonomy autonomy is just a number literally autonomy is the one thing you shouldn't fret about I mean, sure, it makes you slightly weaker, but you know what makes you really, really weaker? Like losing all of your manpower to rebels. I've let them drive with all the money I demand. I demand nothing from Castile. That was like ages ago. They had a hundred years to recover from that, so don't give me that. And we can't, I mean, they have to do, go through time. There's no way of making them recover faster. <laughs> Autonomy is important. It's not important enough to warrant rebels, I don't think. It's, I mean, it's important in order to make your provinces count, yes. But if I have to... Autonomy by 25 in order to, you know, not spend manpower of like 10 years for like five, 
10 province or something like that. Because let's face it, you don't get a lot of manpower. And if you have to spend like 10,000 manpower to fight... <laughs> yeah, so what? I have the money. So what? I mean, it's not bad to have a regular armies as mercenaries. To be fair, this is pretty bad. But I have the money anyway, so bah, who cares? I can be wasteful with my resources. It's not about these resources. The only resource that matters right now, or the only resources that matter for this world conquest are overextension and that power. That's all that matters. The other resources I have a plenty. I started as Austria, but I'm also almost finishing my stream. <laughs> so I do apologize for all the guys that really Really want to have a long time here, but yeah. One o'clock in the morning, I think it's time to go. <laughs> Seven fifteen in the morning. Well, you just woke up, you said. Or maybe you just finished watching a movie or something. <laughs> and you turn Austria into Holy Roman Empire. Are you offended, sir? <laughs> uh, it may not be as pretty. Might not have the pretty white, but oh well. Oh freaking well. It was a world conquest run. And if I could choose to, to form the Holy Roman Empire without losing Austria as my tag, I totally would. What difficult do I play? I don't know, Iron Man. Regular freaking Iron Man. There's no real difficulty setting here, is there? Tech, on tech 42 years to conquer the rest of the globe? Yeah, that's possible. The only problem right now is that we have a regency. How about Switzer Lake? I don't think so. Too many people request Switzer Lake, so I might have to do it eventually. But, I just played a European nation. I want to play something outside of Europe. I want to play something without, you know, becoming revolutionary. I want to play something... That has to maybe struggle. I may, may even play, you know, an Incan Sun God campaign or something like that. Okay, we can piece this war out, and then that's it for this. For today, oh well, never mind. We can't piece it out yet. We have to go ahead and take some more land. Burp. 
Or we can piece him out. I could switch to Hinduism to boost monarchs. To the Congo achievement? No. If you want to see the Congo achievement, you can just go to DDR Jake's channel. He did... Well, actually, did he do the Congo achievement? He did Loango, so I guess he didn't get the Congo achievement. But he did a very, very interesting Loango campaign, so... There's that. Incan Sun God isn't too hard. Yeah, I bet. I'm looking for the hardest achievement after this. After powering myself almost out on this campaign. Though it not being hard, it still had its thrills, you could say. <laughs> thrills and frills. And Hungry's still alive. Yeah, so what? They'll be eaten soon. Can I integrate them? I think it's like 98 or something. Because they did break free at one point. 89, okay. So 11 more years before we can integrate them. Religion map mode, please. Oh, let's start religion map mode small. The world is freaking Protestant. In King Zong God, it's the same as World Conquest, but in South America, so it's not the same. <laughs> Showing my national ideas. They're just the regular national ideas to take. I mean, religious because Austria. Austria's bonus to religious conversion, so we take religious ideas. That's a no brainer for me. Hmm. I would love to piece him out. What do you mean the hardest part is the islands? Islands for South America? What islands do you need for South America? <laughs> discipline. We have discipline. 110 percent. And we have... How much do we have? We have quite a big increase here. Sun Goo! I want to be the Sun Goo achievement. Maybe we should just take some from Pazai. We could just feed Pazai to Indon our Indonesian Empire. That would be fitting. Hundred K. That sounds pretty difficult. Hundred K Europeans before westernizing. It doesn't sound impossible, but it sounds pretty be difficult. If my Roomba can do it quickly. <laughs> Everybody can get the Revolutionary Empire. You just need to become the revolutionary um, republic and then you tank your republican tradition, which of course is not that bad. You know, regions. What's up? No rebels on islands? Good. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> well, wait, was it before the update? Because, well, westernizing shouldn't be hard at all. Now with the update and everything. You're playing 12.2, so am I. Can I do this? I could. But, again. That's it for tonight, guys. I really love that you guys start to interact right now, but... I'm out for today. <laughs>